In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to add fractions with the same denominator using fraction bars. We're going to add 6 twelfths and 5 twelfths together. So we're gonna represent our 6 twelfths here first with these fraction bars. And then we're going to add on 5 twelfths. Six twelfths, five twelfths, join them together because we're adding. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven twelfths. When you're adding fractions, the denominator stays the same because it tells you the size of the part that you are adding. So when they are alike, you can join them together. So the twelves represent the size of the piece that we have. These are 12 size pieces because it takes 12 of them to make one whole. So when we're adding 6 twelfths and 5 twelfths, join them together, we get 11 twelfths. So the 6 and 5 combine to make 11. That 12 stays the same because, again, it's the type or size piece that we have. Let's add 4, 6, and 1, 6. These are six because it takes six of them to equal or to make a whole. So if we have four six and we add on one six, join those together, now we have five six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six part does not change because it tells us the type of piece or size of the piece that we have. I want to add 4 eighths and 3 eighths together. These are eighth size pieces because it takes eight of them to make a whole. So let's first represent the whole to show that these are eighths. So there are eight of them. So we want to add 4 eighths and 3 eighths. Combine the two fractions. 4 eighths and 3 eighths equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eighths. 4 eighths plus 3 eighths equals 7 eighths. In this video, I shared with you how to add fractions with the same denominator using fraction bars.